All right, we're about ready to pop the top off of this thing. Um, before we do, uh, you just saw me put, uh, basically trim the deck down right here at the stems. Uh, there's a reason for that. I, when I go to put the deck back on, I want to have a key, basically, that says here's where it goes. I don't want to be fussing around with where's center and all that kinds of stuff. I want to know exactly where it goes. So what I do is I come in a couple of inches on each end, on the far end and on this end, and I basically trim it up to exactly where it's supposed to be. And that way there, when I go to put it back on, all I have to do is take, just like a key, take the two ends, put them right there, and the rest of the deck should fall exactly where it's supposed to be. All right, so now we got to pop this baby off. And what I can tell you is be gentle. What you want to do is get yourself the widest, uh, uh, the widest chisel that you can get. And you want to kind of get underneath. I prefer to get underneath where I know the forms are. And just be gentle, you know, just take it. Don't try to get it all at once. Pop a little bit at a time and it'll come. Don't try to get both sides at a time. Work your way right around. Remember, underneath is still an unfinished deck. So you want to be careful. You don't want to gouge it out. Now I've already, you know, obviously the glass is on, and we've already put a couple of filler coats on top of that. So the top of this deck is ready to go. Once we get it popped. And I think about the only thing holding this on right now is right here. And the deck is still pretty fragile. If you just take a little piece of the time, it will pop up. All right. So there we go. Deck is off. So what I need to do now is uh, I'm going to take this off and put the put the boat into a separate place for right now, leaving all the forms and everything in it. And I'm going to reset this. Uh, strong back up with cradles that are specifically made for the deck right so we provide form patterns for a deck cradle because that's what we needed here in the shop and we do it so why wouldn't we you know provide them to you too essentially it's the same thing as these kinds of cradles that we have here for the hull uh, it just supports the deck at different locations so that when it's sitting it doesn't get warped or twisted and you can go ahead and sand it and do all your fiberglassing and everything all right, so this is uh, until we start putting the deck back on. Um, we're just going to uh, move this boat out of the way. But everything came out really, really nice. So I thought it was at least important to show you this setup on on the uh, cradle form, so that you understand why we send cradle forms again, and, and that you don't try to do it without them. Because um, you can do it on a bench top, it's just, I don't recommend it. It's going to get a little whacked out of shape. All right, so the only thing I got to say about cleaning this up and fiberglassing it is just be careful of the edges, right? These edges are basically your salvation as you put it back on the kayak. You should have, you know, about a quarter of an inch overhang there so that you can then trim it down and make everything fit nice. All right, so, uh, you know, if you, you know, here we've got lots of strong backs running around everywhere so we can set boats up and these up. You're probably not going to be able to set multiple things up. So make sure you don't throw out all your cradle forms for the boat. Make sure that when you tear it all apart so that you're ready to sand it, take your uh, shear strakes out and put them in a nice safe place um, so that you can basically, once this is fiberglass, it should, you know, and it's cured, it should pretty much stay in the shape that it's going to be in. Uh, you can move this off to the side somewhere, and then you can bring your boat back. All right? So we're just going to go ahead and sand this and fiberglass this, and we're going to get to that 12-footer so that you can see what it's like to do the inside of the boat.